Greetings citizens. Today I would like to discuss trade. To begin with, what is trade? Most would say any exchange made between two or more people. Others would narrow it to an exchange between two people in which both people gained something of value. Still others would narrow it to an exchange where physical goods or items of worth changed hands. The most narrow definition would be an exchange of goods or services for currency. This final definition is what most people in an MMO think of when they think of trade or the economy. And this is where I differ slightly from most people. I do not consider providing a service such as moving goods trade. Why? Because while something of value is gained by both parties, most times one side gains something of value, currency, goods, etc., and the other side only gains time. And time, while valuable, is not something that can be traded itself. Now don't get me wrong, the service industry is important, and it's where I work in the real world. But if everyone provided a service, no one would be making anything, and thus no goods to be traded for those services would exist. What do we know about trade in Star Citizen? We know that items and data can be collected, moved, and sold. And we know that there will be a working economy with resource gathering, supply lines, manufacturing, and asset destruction. The destruction of assets will drive the creation of those assets, as many people will need to replace that which they have lost, which will in turn drive the collection and distribution of materials used to make those assets. Very rarely will you find a single person who will mine a raw resource, refine that resource into a usable material, and then take that usable material and produce a finished good. Why? Because of trade. It's much better to be good at one step in the chain, and thus be more profitable, than it is to try and control the entire chain. With that said, I would like to focus on the entities in trade. There are, most of the time, three actors in trade. Producers, intermediaries, and consumers. Producers make stuff, be it raw resources from the environment, or other sources such as the ruins of other players, or raw materials purchased from other producers, or intermediaries, and then constructed into final products. This is rather straightforward. Producers, however, are rarely pure producers, as they also buy and consume goods in the production of other goods, be it machines to produce the raw materials, raw materials or refined materials to produce refined or finished products. Trading on the production side can be as simple as making or harvesting an item that's in great demand, or as complex as searching the far ends of the universe to produce star charts for sale. Intermediaries, brokers, middlemen, traders, suppliers, that guy you know. This is what most people think of when they think about trading. Buy low, sell high, move goods from one place to another to increase their value, or simply sitting in a busy trade hub buying and selling what people are looking for, or buying excess goods and turning around and selling them for a slight profit. Intermediaries can be both producers and consumers of goods, buying goods and reselling them elsewhere along with a small amount of refined or finished goods they themselves produce. They will also consume things, fuel in the transport, ships to do the transporting, storage space, maybe a shop that they operate on a planet. They could also be a simple storefront that buys or sells goods without moving at all. Consumption is the easiest method of trade to describe. You buy what you need, done. Consumers can be finished product goods producers, consuming raw or refined materials. It can also be an interme intermediary, as stated above, but it could also be the general user, be it a combat fleet, a system scout, or simply waste within the system. I should probably address that. Waste in the system. No system is perfect. Every step along the way, something is going to go wrong. A missed vein while mining, a cargo load that's badly managed, a simple waste in refinement, a bad batch of products, pirates, thefts, the end user getting blown up. You will never find a perfect deal. Either you will pay more than you wanted, not get as much as you wanted, or have forgotten something along the way. By understanding who you are in each interaction when trading, it can enable you to better understand how your actions will impact the greater universe, which in turn may allow you to predict better how your actions will change the market and thus affect your ability to buy and sell in the future. After all, despite Monty Python's joke, even one small herring can fell a mighty tree. There are two main types of trade, as I have mentioned previously, stationary and transitory. Stationary trade is just that. You open a store in a place. People come to you to buy or sell, and you don't move. This is what many NPCs and MMOs are. They sit in a spot, and you go to them to buy or sell your stuff. It, it's rather simple. Transitory trade is quite a bit different. It's the idea of buying an item where it's in great supply but low demand, and moving it to another location where it's in short supply but great demand, and selling it 
there for a higher price. However, this type of trade introduces risk. What is risk? Risk is a big factor in trade, despite me not having really discussed it yet. Risk is complicated. What I might look at as a risky trade or route or merchant, others might see as fine or not risky at all, as they could know the route, the trader, or the market, and I don't. Okay, that's great, but what does it mean? Risk is different for everyone, but basically it is all the bad things that could possibly happen from doing or not doing something. Yes, not doing something is also a risk. Sometimes it's small, missing out on a chance at a profit. Sometimes it's big, not running from a sketchy situation before it goes bad. Okay, okay, what are the risks in Star Citizen's trade system? They are pretty much the same as roughly the rest of the world. Markets change, demands change, prices go up and down, pirates attack, and all these things must be considered when considering whether or not something is worth doing. Risk balances profit. The greater the profit, the greater the possible risk. The inverse is also sometimes true. Low risk, low reward. But this isn't always true. Sometimes there are big rewards with relatively little risk, and sometimes the small all profits are the most risky. I'm going to leave it there because risk really deserves its own discourse. There is one last thing to talk about, and that deals a lot with Star Citizen, trading information. Information is complicated, more so when we don't know many aspects of the mechanics around it. When trading in information, we must take many, many risks, most of them surrounding trust. Do we trust the seller? Is the data good? Has it been widely sold? Is it useful? And most times, we don't know this until after we've purchased. In Star Citizen, we currently know that jump points, both locations and mappings, citizen data, ship registration, and other location data can possibly be traded amongst citizens. I can see a very profitable trade in jump points from one trader to another, or from system scouts to traders, as well as to transportation operators, because having a shorter route, or a, a less well-known route, or maybe better mappings for jump points that allow a larger ship to pass through them to be a massive advantage in transportation and trade. However, there's also a danger here. Using a jump point that you don't know about to transport goods could make you a target for pirates. After all, pirates could be selling the jump point data themselves. This, of course, makes buying data itself a risky proposition in the first place. But again, risk is something we'll talk about later. Have a great day, and fly safe.